So how low does your muzzle velocity standard deviation have to be to shoot good groups at a thousand yards? Uh, that's the question I want to talk about today and I uh, have some uh, input from live fire, instrumented live fire to, uh, to draw on to, to talk about this. So um, now we're talking about shooting thousand yards with, you know, F class style guns, you know, minute of angle accuracy at a thousand yards. Uh, so in that application, it's about seven feet per second SD that if you do better than that, it really doesn't decrease your vertical dispersion much because other variables like shot to shot BC variation, your natural cone of fire, like if it's a half minute at a hundred, it's at least a half minute at a thousand. And once you account for those things, the uh, a standard deviation that's like two or three isn't really contributing anything to your vertical. Um, but if you get to an SD of seven feet per second in muzzle velocity, anything higher than that, that's when you're going to start see, seeing your vertical, like your fastest shots will go out the top of the group and your slow shots will go out the bottom. Um, but if you're within seven feet per second, it seems to um, not correlate. Other things matter more once you get below an SD of seven. Um, now I want to caveat again, this is for, you know, if you're shooting roughly MOA accuracy, roughly 10 inch groups at a thousand yards. If you're a bench rest shooter that's shooting half that, you know, if you're typically shooting four to six inch groups at a thousand yards, um, then likely you're uniforming your bullets and you may have SDs below five. And in that case, you'll probably see some benefit of reducing your SD if you're shooting groups that small. But for, for most shooters that are averaging roughly a minute of angle at a thousand yards, that seven foot per second SD and muzzle velocity is really what I found to be the break point on a couple different occasions. One of them was um, a whole team worth of FTR rifles where we use uh, lab radars and instrumented targets to correlate muzzle velocity to vertical impact. Um, another time was more recently, I had eight different, eight different guns and ammo combinations that I shot to a thousand yards, a 10 shot group, and correlated the vertical impact to muzzle velocity. And yeah, what, if the SD was below seven, there was really no correlation. But if it was higher than seven feet per second, you had strong, it was driving your group size is the way to say it. Um, so that's it. It's something that I carry around and think about a lot when I'm like, well, is that going to be good enough or not? It's if you are you below seven feet per second. And if you are, other things are driving your vertical. That's good enough. You can stop going down the rabbit hole at the loading bench, right? Because that can be a never ending thing. Um, yeah, seven feet per second is a good threshold to shoot for. If you do better than that, it isn't really going to show up unless you're shooting bench rest. Um, and yeah, that's what I have for today.